everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beastons and I upload every single Sunday and Wednesday. Today I am showing you our evening routine as a family of six. I have two sons ages eight and seven and two daughters ages five and three. So before the big kids even get home, I am putting some lavender in the diffuser to just help set the tone for me because I feel like this is like one of the most stressful times of the day are usually based around our routines and no matter what I do I try my best to make all of our routines relaxing but you know feeding four kids and just you know hearing everyone's stories after school and just all of it it can be stressful as you can see my youngest is already home she only goes to preschool for two hours a day three times a week so she's mostly with me but what I've been doing is setting up snacks for them right away after school so that they don't just immediately grab like bags of chips and bars and things like that. I found when they were doing that they weren't really eating their dinner so at least I know they have a healthy snack in them. So as you can see my youngest was so happy that her big siblings were home and once they're all home we usually try to do something outside after snack or just something physical. Um, sometimes if it's like a rainy day, they'll just have some iPad time to decompress, but you can always catch my oldest out here playing soccer. He absolutely loves it. He plays travel. So while Chris is out there with the kids, I'm going through everyone's book bags, signing homework, and now it was the day after Easter when I'm filming this, so um, we didn't have like any groceries. I don't like buying groceries before we host an event because I need all the fridge space that I can get for what we're serving so I'm just catching up of course the groceries arrived kind of like the same time as the kids were getting home so that's not our normal routine but it does happen often because we run out of groceries we don't have like an exact grocery schedule being such a large family and my kids are growing rapidly and eating all of the produce up in like two to three days So everyone is back inside. I'm just gonna let the berries dry and kind of continue on with our routine. Chris is getting started on making tacos. We usually try to have dinner pretty early because we usually have sports, but it was the day after Easter, so we didn't have anything going on that day because karate and soccer were both um, you know, off for the day after Easter. So anyway, Chris is making us some taco meat and he, of course he's being funny for the video. Does anybody else try their best not to get the paper to go into the pan because he clearly did not care that the paper was stuck to the turkey and then pulled it off. I try my best to like have a fork on it or like something. Anyway, so I'm just happy he's cooking dinner, right? So tacos are a weekly staple. Um, but anyway, I am cleaning out their lunch boxes now and just we're kind of like tag teaming everything to get the kitchen back in order get their lunch boxes clean and get dinner served as a sports family you either have to eat dinner like very early after school or really late at night and I cannot stand doing it late at night because we do bathe our kids every night or they shower every night so they wouldn't be going to bed until so late if we didn't have early dinners of course they have snacks later on if we have an early dinner but this is just what works the best for us Comment down below and let us all know what time you eat dinner. I'm just wondering like what is like the median dinner time for families?
Now I'm just making a little bit more cleaner because I knew that I was going to wipe everything down and I saw there was barely any left. So it's just 16 ounces of warm water and a cap full of thieves and then I just use whatever essential oil. Right now I'm loving Jade Lemon. Curse is making me laugh. I don't even remember what it was about. But just you see that we're all over the place but this is real life. We're putting away groceries. Chris is checking on the kids playing outside. I lost an apple that I didn't even know about until this video. And then for my dinner, I am tracking my macros. I just recently signed up for an eight week challenge with, with first form. And one of my subscribers, Brie reached out to me and said her eight week challenge was getting ready to start. And she kind of like has access to you on the app. The app is $12.99 a month. So that's all it was to sign up. And she can see like what you're tracking for your macros and help you out and answer any questions. There's also exercises on there. Here's the kids playing hide and seek. But anyway, it's only been three days, but I'm loving it because it's not restrictive at all. What it's doing is helping me get my protein goals and I've actually been feeling more full and eating more tracking my macros. I know that's not true for everybody, but for me it has been. And so far I'm absolutely loving it because I plan my meals like the night before and it's just makes life easier for me. Um, being a type A person, I really enjoy it. And I also enjoy that there's like no hunger to it, which I feel like a lot of times with other programs, you can be hungry or just too restrictive. And in the past, I've also thought like tracking macros would make me crazy, but I actually like really enjoy it and it's fun to me. One last time. All right, so it's finally dinner time. The kids are eating tacos and they're having strawberries and I'm sure they'll have a bunch of snacks after. And then this is mine. Um, it was so filling. So it's just lots of lettuce, ground turkey, taco meat. I have an avocado and like the salsa that comes with the taco kit on it. And then we do do dessert every night for the kids. And sometimes it's just fruit. Sometimes it's these yasa bars um, and then Ella wanted cookies that we made for Easter instead. But we are a dessert family. It's one of the things that I remember from growing up too, is having dessert every night after dinner. So back to washing dishes again, um, and just again, tag teaming, cleaning up as we go. So another space that we like to clean up, we do like a whole house tidy before bed every night and the kids usually help. There's times when I'm like, just go, I got it, when it's taking too long, but this is hysterical. I'm like cleaning up with the girls. This is their version of cleaning. I don't know, just seeing this clip cracked me up. I thought it was hysterical. But just putting things back where they belong because the playroom is as soon as you walk down the stairs in the morning and it's the worst way to wake up, just looking into like, cluttered, messy playroom in the morning. I love when it's nice and clean, and I notice that when it is clean, the kids want to play in it even more. Toys look more enticing to them, etc., etc. If you want to go back, my first episode of my spring cleaning series, I did the playroom and our like game and craft closet, and you can see I did a huge declutter in here, but of course, it still will get messy because the kids are actually being kids and playing. the boys will give themselves a bath or a shower. Ella will too on most nights, um, but of course I'm still bathing Everly, so the big ones are upstairs getting showered up and everything, and Chris and I are just wiping down the counters. I'm making them nighttime waters that will go into 
there's it'll be their school water for the next day as well we just like freshen it up in the morning and then I will go over and check my to-do list and it everything doesn't always get done but I did really want to at least write out my April calendar and erase the March calendar so I'm going to take care of that tonight as well So here's Ella, my oldest daughter. She does take a lot of pride in helping with anything with me. It's very sweet and I love it. Um, I'm also wiping down their iPads. I usually do that before I charge them. Right now, um, today, what's today? Today is Tuesday when I'm doing my voiceover. We decided that tomorrow we're gonna be doing an iPad cleanse again. We like to do this once in a while, but it's kind of gotten out of control because Pennsylvania has been so rainy and dark and gross lately so they haven't gotten outside as much as they'd like to and they just been on their ipads too much i think every parent can relate to just like needing a cleanse i always just feel like it's healthy once in a while it's not they're they're not in trouble or anything like that it's just good they need a cleanse and i also noticed that when they're doing like an ipad cleanse we are also on our phones less and it's just i think it's just healthier all around I know there's a lot of cleaning in this video, but that's just like, you know, in our night routine, but I would love to show you like a daily nightly cleaning routine and just focus on the things that we clean every night. Um, but one thing that we do every night is we run the dishwasher. So I'm just putting the pot in. Somebody told me to start putting the pod, not where the dishwasher pods go, but just laying it in the middle of the bottom of the dishwasher. And it honestly has cleaned my dishes way better. So. I don't know it's working really well for us and then you see I'm printing my to-do list for the next day which will be available for you to print out for free on my website at tiffanybeeston.com um, but with first form what I'm working with and the coach that I'm working with she says to write down your top five things for the next day every evening um, and then of course you can put all the other stuff on your to-do list but focus on top five priorities and it's honestly just been really helpful. So I made a spot on my to-do list that is just the top of five of the day. So now I'm getting Everly's bath ready. She got this new bath toy for Easter, so I wanted to set it up for her. And then this is what I'm using. I use the Honest Bubble Bath, um, and then I use the Honest Shampoo. And right now, I, as you can see, like Ella doesn't look very happy because I'm using detangling spray and all that, but. I'm just struggling so much with her hair and it being tangled and I think it's because she needs um, like a big girl shampoo which I don't even know what to use. I like to use something without a lot of fragrance and chemicals which is why I use Honest but it takes forever to brush her hair and she is just over it so I need a new shampoo and conditioner for her so if you have any suggestions let me know. So after the kids are all bathed and showered they brush their teeth. And Carter and I are just playing with this new toy that he got for Easter as well. Every night, the kids do some type of reading either on their own or with us or practice their sight words. Good job, Princess. Good job. But my room is pink. Good job, baby. My bed is pink. I love pink. This so is brown. My dog is black. His is a little pink. Oops. <laughs> I think 
can see my dog. I can see my fish. I can see my cat. Anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Our actual putting the kids to sleep process is nowhere near perfect at all. It honestly takes us so long to get the kids to sleep at least an hour, no matter what time we put them to bed. Um, you know, we just have to spend time with each and every kid. Everly only wants me and she takes like over half an hour to fall asleep. So when I'm done with her and Ella, I go into the boys room and spend time with both of them. And now it's time for me to take a shower and relax before bed. So I had just, no, I didn't blow dry my hair yet. Today I blow dry my hair. This day I knew that I was doing a heavy workout in the morning that I was just gonna get my hair sweaty. So I am not washing it. I am taking my makeup off and hopping in the shower and then just doing my super easy skincare routine. And I would always have like a dime beauty code. I use all of their stuff for my face as well as their perfumes are absolutely amazing so i highly recommend them they have clean ingredients you can check on ewg they are very highly rated One really small thing that makes a big difference for our family is laying out the kids clothes the night before because if they want to pick them out they can um, if they want to pick them out with us together it just saves us time in the morning just having everything down here ready to go um, and while I am still like doing my skincare routine and all that Chris is downstairs making us some peppermint tea I absolutely love all different kinds of tea I usually will drink like nighty night at night or um, there's like a cup of calm that has like lavender in it or just some peppermint tea. Since I'm done brushing my teeth and all that, I'm in bed and I'm just filling out that to-do list. I'm not stressing to, and making sure everything is on there, but I am trying to come up with my top five just so that when I wake up, I have an idea of what's expected of me. When I wake up with no direction, it just makes me even more or even less of a morning person, I should say. Um, but I'm also reading Mr. Fixer Upper. I highly recommend it. The first 10 chapters were really hard to get into, but I wound up loving it. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you on Wednesday for my undecorate and kind of redecorate slash organize video. Broken